Hello, my name is Johnny Ray. I'm with Westside Dips, Hudson, Florida. We do classy dip and hydro dipping for cars, pretty much. Uh, I wanted to make a short video in regards to repairing classy dip wheel, like a curb mark, a road rash, something like that. You scratched it. Uh, maybe the brush you used is a little abrasive when you cleaned it, or something like that. Um, anyways, that's what I want to show you today. And uh, as far as tools go, you don't really need too many. Um, you need some rubber gloves, and uh, you will need some naphtha or xylene. Um, you can mix them together, one, use one of each, it's up to you. Uh, all they do is thin the plastic dip, so uh, that's what you need to uh, repair this. So, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Steer Typical wheel, um, plastic dip white. What happens was I uh, had these tires put on these rims, and the tire guy did this with his tire machine. So, anyways, rather than pick it all off and redip it, I'm going to fix it. So. Uh, earlier I was mentioning about tools, about the naphtha and the rubber gloves. Um, I also have a little bottle. It's just a container. You can use shot glass or whatever. Um, just to hold the naphtha. It's just easier dipping your finger in instead of just turning the bottle over on your finger. Every time. What you want to do is just dip your finger in there and just start rubbing. Um, it'll be nice and slick have a lot of the solvent on your fingertip and um, then as you rub it gets drier and drier and drier and harder to rub so you always want to keep naphtha on your fingertip on your glove um, so don't worry about spills or drips or anything like that Just last step is to repaint it anyways or repaint the touch up spots This wheel's pretty bad. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I just want to do this area. Just wanted to sh share this with you guys. Um, I know there's a few videos already on YouTube. You know, by all means, go watch them too. Just I might say something somebody else didn't, or do something, or something. So I don't know. I'm a firm believer. Believer in. Uh, Watching more than one video to learn how to do something. So. Oh, anyways, you can see now that it's getting a whole lot smoother, and that's what we want to do. Basically, we want to knock down all those little layers of jaggedness. I guess I don't even know if that's a word. But, but anyways, basically that's what you do. You keep rubbing, rubbing, and rubbing until it becomes smooth. The xylene is, or the naphtha is, essentially rubbing tiny, tiny, tiny little layers off. And that's exactly what we want to do so we can get it smooth again. And ready for paint. So, anyways, I think you get the gist of it now. Get it all nice and smooth, and after that, get yourself a, another aerosol can and re dip it. Um, it's as easy as that, really. It will, uh, it works on a lot of things. Um, it'll take out all these little nicks, the nick right there from whatever, who knows. Uh, it'll knock down all your nicks. So a mark right there. It'll fix all that. Just got to do it to all your spots. Um, normally wheels aren't this bad, but this guy was pretty. It was a hack when he put on this tire. So, uh, anyways, you can see now it's 
nice and smooth or smoother I'm not finished but just wanted to show you just keep doing that and doing that and doing that until it's nice and smooth uh, you you may even get back down to bare metal or chrome or whatever the original surface was but uh, that's fine as long as it's smooth and all those little jagged edges and bumps and rips are gone and you can redip it you know same color and you should be happy with the outcome so anyways guys I hope that helped out a little bit uh, it's pretty easy to do uh, like I said you can use naphtha or xylene um, as long as it's thinner uh, you can use it. it doesn't matter I know different states have different regulations on what's allowed at Home Depot or Lowe's and what's not so, um, so any of it will work just uh, seen it so uh, I don't want to get too long into this blah 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 so anyways thanks for watching guys uh, again my name is Johnny Ray I'm with Westside Dips uh, check out the website westsidedips.com and also got a Facebook page uh, if you would just uh, like the video uh, leave a comment tell me if you liked it tell me if you didn't um, either way comments or it doesn't matter if I can learn something myself then you know That'll work too. So, anyways, thanks guys, and uh, have a good day. Happy dipping.